Even though electric vehicles don't need regular maintenance like valve adjustments and oil changes, they still find their way into the shop. And this Yadia G5, or Ziggy, is in need of a new rear tire. Now this bike's electric motor is built into the rear wheel, so removing it to replace the tire presents its own special challenges. Your first step is going to be to put the scooter up on its center stand. Next, disconnect the main power supply by moving the breaker to the off position. It's also a good idea at this point to disconnect the main battery pack. Now you can remove the four 10mm bolts that hold the seat bucket in place. Lift the seat bucket up and remove the battery tray cable from the battery tray lock. The hub motor's wire harness can only be disconnected at the motor controller. To gain access to these connection points, you'll need to remove these two 10mm bolts. You may need to cut the zip ties that hold the drive motor harness to the frame to allow enough slack for the motor controller to reach service position. Once you have access to the back of the motor controller, remove the Phillips screw that holds the cover plate on. Next. Disconnect the three connectors from the back of the harness. You should now be able to remove the cover from the back of the motor controller. Take note that the motor controller has colorized the different positions of the motor windings as they install into the controller. These will need to be returned to their exact position upon reinstallation. With the drive motor harness disconnected from the motor controller, we can now begin removing the rear wheel. We're gonna start by removing these axle nut covers. Once they're out of the way, we'll remove the 10 millimeter mounting bolts that mount the axle retainers in place. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we'll remove the jam nut from the axle. Take special care to make sure that your socket is only removing the jam nut and not the jam nut along with the axle retaining nut. Now we can remove the axle retaining nuts and the lock washers. Now we'll remove the brake caliper by removing the two 6mm Allen bolts that hold the brake caliper to the caliper bracket. With the caliper removed, you'll want to gently rest it onto a surface. It's never a good idea to let the brake caliper hang from the brake line. We should now be clear to remove the rear wheel from the swing arm. You'll need to kind of guide the harness out of this small hole in the mud shield. And there you have it. Well, with this rear wheel removed, I'm now going to go ahead and replace this blown tire and get this customer back on the road. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If this video helped you out, or if you have suggestions for future episodes of Scooter 911, leave me a comment below. You know, I create these videos to empower people to take repairs into their own hands and remind them that a scooter is just a bucket of bolts and the people who work on them aren't smarter than you. So until I see you next time, keep it shiny side up. Be shiny side up. Bow! Yeah! You said it! I said it! You said it!